go out of our way to keep the quality of this boat up. Because like I said, when it goes out the door, I tell people it's a 40-year boat. And the only way you can do that is the quality of the materials has got to be your starting point. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then the craftsmanship is the, is the second. And, uh, and without those, with those two, you can turn out a quality product. And then I don't accept anything less than, you know, top notch. I'll go through here a lot of times on Saturday and find a drip on a varnish and it'll get cleaned up on Monday because it won't go like that. <laughs>。Well, we uh, you know, we're using a Sapili uh, plywood for the center boards, and it's $800 a sheet for that stuff. I mean, it's high grade, so we own all the castings for the hardware. So we have those in a foundry down in West Virginia, as we control the quality of that. So the fur comes from the West Coast, it's all clear. First thing you want to get it structurally sound. We want to tighten the ribs up or put some new ribs in. So we do that first. And let's say that's a $3,000 effort. And the next year maybe we put a deck on it, and that's a $2,000 effort. And then the next year maybe you want to, you know, spiffy up something else or you know, uh, do the rig differently, a new sail. That's another couple of grand. So you know, and we look at it as a whole. We say you've got $10,000 worth of repair here, but you can do it in three and four thousand dollar chunks and still sail the boat and get a lot of fun out of it. So you don't have to do it all at one time. And we do a, a lot of that here just because we know that people, everybody that walks in here can't shell out, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars just to get an old junk boat up to speed, you know.